We welcome another returning sponsor of the Stevie Awards for Sales and Customer Service, Value Selling Associates, who has helped thousands of sales professionals increase their sales productivity since 1991. Here to present the awards in those sponsored categories that recognize the achievements of individual sales performers. Please join me in welcoming Value Selling Associates, Director of Digital Marketing and Enablement, Mr. Corey Cotton Potter. Thank you. So I want you to imagine it's August 1964 and you're in Queens. The World's Fair is in full swing. We're talking thousands of elaborate exhibits that would draw 50 million people over the coming months. Now in all that commotion, you probably don't notice a 13-year-old kid from Virginia Beach who's stepping off a Greyhound bus. Now he's ecstatic because he never thought he would sell enough newspaper subscriptions to actually win this trip. But he's there, so he joins the giant queue to get into the event. And standing next to him is this Mets fan. And as a huge sports fan, that kid, my father, could not resist striking up a conversation. Now, for the baseball diehards in the house, you'll know that the Mets in the early 60s Let's just say if you went to their stadium, you'd find more joy in most mausoleums. They had a truly atrocious start there at the beginning. Now, during this conversation, it comes up that the Mets fan has been to 20 games already. And at that revelation, my dad just flat out asked him, he says, why do you do this to yourself? And the Mets fan says, I know they're pro athletes capable of playing at the highest level. But I can't shake this feeling that I've got in my head that without fans like me, who really know them, they might not win. And that story always stuck with me and I chose to share it with you tonight because it's not so different than what we do as salespeople. Right? Many of you in this room routinely partner with top executives at leading companies to transform their business. And that's despite the long hours, the constant pressure to hit your number, and the replies to carefully crafted emails that read, in all caps by the way, take me off your list. <laughs> despite rejection and countless forms, you continue to show up. And you do that because you know your prospects and their business. And you can't shake the feeling that maybe, just maybe, without you, they might not win. That's how invested you are in your customer success. You should be proud. With that in mind, I want to honor the individuals who have taken that investment to the next level.